Hello, welcome to this video in which I'm going to install Palo Alto Firewall onto EVENG. Um, and if you've just seen the first video, which is the Paolo, uh, sorry, the EVENG installation video, um, you'll see that I'm now at this position where I've got a blank EVENG server. And if I click out an object and a node, and I type in Paolo, this is what I want to do. Both of these options are grayed out. There are no links there, which means we don't have an image, we don't have a folder created for the image, and I can't spin up a node. So to fix that, um, let's uh, fix that like this. We need to create a folder. And to find out what we need to do, we just need to Google. I'll show you what you need to Google how to install Palo Alto EVENG. So that will bring you to this page here. The top link is the EVENG software um, documentation. And the guide is very easy to follow. Um, you just need to download the image. I always use the QCAD2 images. And there's two options, an OVA or a QCAD2. So I'll use the uh, QCAD2 for EVENG. And We've got the method here, so it's literally create a folder, upload the image to that folder, rename the file, and then fix the permissions. So, so let's do that now. So the first um, thing is make a directory. Now this directory is where the image will be uploaded to. Now the name of the folder is very critical because 9.1.2, that's the software version that I'm running today. So I'll create that folder and then I'll go into that folder and we'll see that there's nothing in it. Okay, so that's an empty folder. But now, now I've created that folder, um, EVENG now believes that things are starting to move. And I'll just show this. If I now go to my server and I type in Paolo, you can see the Paolo Auto now is hyperlinked, so it now looks like I can start to click on it. But if I did, there's nothing there, it wouldn't work. But the reason that's kicked into gear is literally because I've created this folder, and the folder is based on this file name structure, and because it starts Paolo Auto, it doesn't matter too much what's here, it's the first bit that the EVENG menu looks at. So aside from that, we've got the folder created. I now need to upload the image into the folder. So for that we use WinSCP and I've connected to my EVENG server here and we need to go into the folder that we created. So that folder is in OPT unit lab add-ons QMU and I just need to reconnect in here okay so there's the the folder that I created and if you go in you can see that's empty these are the two images that I'm gonna upload I've got a Paolo firewall and I've also got a panorama, so we're going to upload the Paolo firewall first. And we'll set that up loading. Um, this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll just pause the video while that uploads. Okay, so that's just about uploaded. So there's the image now loaded into that folder. So if we go back to the... Um, server here and do an ls so I've now got the image loaded into the folder now the next step you just have to rename the file so that's done with the mv command so I'm literally going to rename it to this virtioa.qk2 so first of all mv We'll copy that file name that's there, and then we're renaming it to virtioa.qk2. Okay, and the final one is just 
do the fix permissions, which you have to do every time you do something in EVNG. That's done. So now we go back into, let's get my EVE server up. And we'll go back in. So add an object, node, Paolo Alto. So now you can see I can click on it. And this is the image here that you can have, have multiple images uh, for your device. So I create, I could create another folder and I could call it Paolo Alto 10.1. And then that would be the different image. So I'd still go new image Palo Alto, but then I could select which image I want to run. Because I've only got one folder that starts Palo Alto, this is what's showing up. I'm going to spin up two nodes. And here they are. And very easily, I'm just going to add. Um, no, I need a network. So I'm going to add a network and we add the management cloud. Now this will enable me to talk to my devices from my computer. I'm going to connect the management interface of the Paolo's into the management cloud. Right click and start. <laughs> And then once you click start, the device goes green, and then we can click on it, open up the VNC, and watch the Paolo boot. Now, this will take a few minutes. Um, when it's booted, uh, you log in, the default username and password is admin admin for a Paolo Alto, but it will take a couple minutes from once it says it's ready to log in before it will let you log in. Um, so if you try and log in, it just fails. So give it a couple minutes, let it boot up. I'll give this a couple minutes to boot and then we'll log in and just show you that I've got a working Paolo firewall. Okay, so that's booted um, and I'll show you what I mean. Probably I won't do it now, but if I do admin, admin, it will say login incorrect. Um, that's not the case, the login is correct. It's just that the VM hasn't fully booted yet. So you can sit here for ages and it will say login incorrect, but if we give that a couple of minutes, uh, you'll see that it will boot um, and let you log in. Um, while we're here, actually, I might as well just uh, check the second one. That one also is there. That one doesn't work either, so if we're just patient, we will get them. Okay, so that's been about five minutes now from it showing the login prompt. And you can see that it lets me in. Um, and it wants to have a new password. So Password is admin. New password, uh, let's just say Roger and Roger. Now it won't let you in with the new password. Uh, well, I'll give that a couple minutes. Okay, I've figured the problem now. So when you log in with admin and admin, it wants you to enter the old password and then it wants a new password, but this needs to be a little bit more secure. So I put some capitals and numbers. And password has been changed. So now I've got a virtual Paolo running. And if I say show system info, can get the IP address which is um, 192.168.1.118 
So we can now bring up the web page for that one. 192.168.1.118. 